Welcome to Get Known Be Seen Web TV. I'm Trish Springsteen, your host, and it's my absolute delight to be here today in this session speaking with Donna Daffern, who is a new author. Now, Get Known Be Seen Web TV is all about giving people like Donna an opportunity to share a new book, a new product, a new business, just to be able to get up there and say to everybody, here I am. Now, the other guests we have on our Get Known Be Seen Web TV are those people who help to share some tips and techniques on how to get known and how to be seen. Welcome, Donna. Delighted to have you here. How are you? I'm Yeah, I'm good. Thank you. Awesome. Awesome. And Donna, as I just mentioned, this is uh, all about you and you have just written a new book. Did you want to tell us a little bit about who you are and a little bit about your book? Um, my name's Donna, I'm 62, disabled pensioner, but I'm a survivor of child abuse and a lot of other stuff. And it's um, from a counsellor telling me to write um, about my life so I could help other people. Um, that's why I wrote it, as well as getting rid of a lot of mental garbage, as I call it. Um, but yeah, I enjoyed writing it. Awesome, awesome. Look, it must have taken some courage to write the book because it does, uh, I have read the book, and it does delve deep into your life. How did you feel about when you first started to write that book? And did it come easily or how long did it take you to write? I started the book in what, two, um, 2012. Um, Marie, my mother, threatened me with legal action if I didn't stop. So I put it on ice. 2023, I found that when I was swapping over a uh, computer to a laptop, and I thought, why not? So I just started typing and just putting pictures in where I wanted to. What I went through, no one else, but what I went through. And, um, yeah, it's just... Put up a lot of emotion, especially writing about my dad, because losing dad in 1974, it was like part of me that was gone. But otherwise, I found it easy. Awesome. Awesome. And what was the purpose behind the book? I know it was to share your story, but I believe you had another purpose in wanting to get this book out there. Mental health is not spoken about that much. I wrote a book to get my voice out to say what I have been through, how I survived it, how I get on day to day. Um, it may not help a lot of people the way I survived it, but I got the, my voice out there and I urge people that have suffered child abuse, any mental health, speak up, talk to people, talk to someone. You know, if you know someone else is it. Um, being affected by it, talk to them, be, be their friend, because it is a lonely life, mental health. We do need friends. Awesome. And where do you think people can get out of this book? What do you think they will be able to take away from the book when they finish reading it? Mainly what I've put in it is how to reach out, um, what my experiences have been with counsellors, um, great counsellors that I've had, what they've helped me through, what they've told me to talk about, think, um, visualise problems being taken out to see, and um, things like that. You know, it's it's not my way of dealing with things. It's not the same for everyone. But the way I deal with it is the one way that helps me. But my way may help someone else because the brain is a very powerful organ. <laughs> Absolutely. And, and I think it's a fabulous uh, thing that you've done in being able to delve deep and share your story with that outcome. And I would urge everybody to get a copy of the book, to have a read of it, because as Donna has said, while it may not be exactly what she's done, what some of the words that she shares, maybe some of the thoughts that she shares might resonate with you and might be able to be something that you need right at that time. So 
I believe the book is being released. When is that come happening? I have a book release on the 3rd of February at Bethenia Community Centre. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. It's nearly a week away. Okay. Uh, just repeat that again. Whereabouts was that at? It was on the 3rd of February at? Bethenia Community Centre. Awesome. Awesome. And it's not too far away. And if people can't get there, are there places that they can get a copy of your book? Where can they get it? Okay. If people want a copy of my book, um, they can contact me through the um, Facebook page, Left Standing at the Fence, or um, there's an email, um, capital L S A T F. Um, 74 at gmail.com they can contact me there and I can organise them they can pay me I can post the book um, the Kindle version of the book is available on Amazon um, the book is available on Amazon as a paperback too but the office there if people want to get it they can contact me mm. anyone can join the Facebook group it's a public group Awesome. Uh, good idea to join that. And if they want to get a copy that's signed by you, that's a good idea is to go straight to Donna because that means that she can sign that copy to you, for you and give you a personalised book. So that's a really good uh, a good value added to be able to get it direct from Donna in that respect. What was one of the challenges that you had in writing? The biggest challenge, you think, in writing the book? Remembering things because through writing the book, and counselling and that, and especially my doctor, I found that I've got to um, repress memory um, from what I can understand. It's part of my memory that is, I will never remember things. Um, just on different factors of my life, that memory has gone. I can't think of, can't get that memory back. And yes, sometimes it's frustrating but I've accepted, yes, it's repressed for a reason. Let's move on. I've got a lot of other memories. And as I say, memories are in your heart. They're not in pictures or anything else. They're in your heart and in your mind. Oh, I love that. I love the fact memories are in your heart. That's wonderful. And what was the biggest thing you think that you got? when you finish that book and then when you received the book and you had it in your hands. And do you have a copy of the book with you at the moment so we can see it? A weight coming off me. Being the person where he was, <clears throat> I could never have put child abuse charges against him. So having that book, the weight came off it and I thought, yes, this is better than any charge. Awesome. So... I just felt like all, all the abuse, the negative stuff that she said to me, it just, that and more, took it away um, from me. And I felt a lot better. Yes, I still have bad days, but not as many bad days. So it's, I was actually speaking to Joe Scott, my editor, on oh, what, Monday, I think it was, on Tuesday, and she said, you're different. You look different, you talk different, you're happier. So, yeah, the book's done some good. <laughs> awesome. And that quite often that's something that happens in people when you do write a book, and especially if it's about something that's very personal or crisis or, or traumatic, uh, the actual fact of writing that down and getting it out in a book can be one of the biggest releases that you can have. It can be really feel like having that weight off as you said, off your shoulders. Donna, have you got a copy of the book there that you can show us? Yes, I certainly do. Awesome. People, there you go, left standing at the fence. And just once more, Donna, tell me, what was that biggest relief? It was getting that weight off your shoulder when you had the hand, book in your hands. Freedom. Freedom. I'd say. Freedom. I'm no longer carrying all the crap that I got when I was younger, I felt free. 
it's hard to explain. <laughs> but yeah, weight off my shoulders. Uh, it is. It's um, it would be something really a sudden thing when you finish it, and then when you hold it in your hand, it's a closing of a chapter in a way of your life, and you can move on even more because you've got that out there. Donna, what does yeah. the future hold for Donna? What are you doing next? The hardest book first. I wrote my memoir first. My second book is actually a romance novel called Love After Dutchman's Road. Wow. Um, at the moment, it's with Joe, my editor. So in the future, that will be coming out. So I'm looking forward to that one. Wow. Now, that's, that's awesome. Not only just getting out there and being an author for the first time, you haven't let anything hold you back and you now produced very short time your second book. So congratulations on that. And I am look forward to seeing that book and look forward to maybe having another discussion with you about your new book. Oh, yeah. Well, the new book took me three and a half months to write. That's yeah. all it took me. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, no, I'm very happy to talk to you, Trish. Thank you. And... Yeah, I just hope the my voice is heard about child abuse or abuse, salt of anything, and that people that are suffering it do go out, take that first step and get help. Because I can tell you what, life at the moment is better than what it was probably two years ago, three years, a lot better, a lot different, but you don't get over it, but you learn how to deal with those little Thank you so much. And people, we've been hearing some very wise words from Donna Daffern, who first time author of Left Standing at the Fence. Some things that we she's been able to share about mental health, about her story, about her journey. This is a very awesome book and one that I believe is well worth, well worth reading. There'll be some links below here for you to be able to go and Find out more about Donna to join her Facebook group and also to be able to get a copy of Left Standing at the Fence. Thank you so much, Donna. Thank you for being with us. Thank you. Thank you. People, you've been watching Get Known Be Seen Web TV. I'm Trish Springsteen and I'm the host of Get Known Be Seen Web TV. It's been my absolute delight to be able to bring another very great person to be able to share her story, and to get known and be seen for us to be able to know who she is. If you would like to know more about Get Known Be Seen Web TV, there are links below. If you've enjoyed this session, please do share it with your community. And I look forward to bringing soon to you another episode of Get Known Be Seen Web TV. Have an absolutely awesome time. Bye. Mm -hmm.